G'day, Hugh here from vrdesign.com.au, a design company based on the Gold Coast in Australia, and thank you for joining. Today I thought we'd hop into Photoshop, and I'll show you a very simple method of improving the detail in your photos. It's easy to do, it's basically one click and you're done. So let's get into Photoshop and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I've got a shot here of uh, Sarajevo, it's a uh, Latin bridge, a uh, very famous bridge because uh, uh, Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated on this bridge and uh, that pretty much started World War I. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not particularly sharp, so we could automatically just add some clarity to the photo and that would help now with our details to a degree. But what we want, what we want to do is actually just do a a uh, uh, work around that is very simple to do and it provides the entire image with a hit of clarity. So, for comparison reasons and for masking reasons, I'm going to open the image in Photoshop, and then I'm going to copy this this layer. So we've got two of them. So then what we're going to do is with the top layer selected come into camera raw and uh, rather than uh, yeah, what we want to do is reduce the size of the the photo so we have got gray all around it and we want to select the graduated filter want to boost the clarity up to 100 and then put the the filter underneath underneath in the gray area and that automatically adds a huge amount of detail to your photo you say OK to that. Now what it has also done is uh, created a fairly contrasty looking look to it as well. So you might not want that uh, throughout the entire photo. You know, maybe not in these buildings and, and that sort of stuff. So the options we have, we could uh, we could just uh, come up and, and adjust the, the, the contrast and uh, Bring that contrast down. So you see now we've got original image, sharper image. And then we can look at uh, putting a mask on, grabbing a brush, make sure black is selected, and then reducing the, uh, the grittiness in some of this, these buildings here just a, a smidgen and then what we could do is we could uh, come back to the main thumbnail and uh, we can just do a little bit of dodging and burning so with this it, you can dodge it up a bit and also along here And I would think you could also use a brush. Uh, what we can use is the uh, sponge tool to saturate some of these these buildings and perhaps in these trees as well. I mean, we have we could have done an overall edit before we did the the sharpening. Uh, but I just wanted to show how easy it was to sharpen up the image just with that, you know, that graduated filter in Camera Raw. So we certainly got a, a much more striking looking image with, you know, very minimal editing. We haven't have done very mu not very much at all to go from that image to that image. I mean, the world's your oyster. You could do so much more work on it, but. Uh, if you're, you're short of time, or you, you just want to, you know, quickly improve the way your your photo looks, how does that look? I think that's come up pretty good. So, all you do, yeah, you get in the camera camera raw filter. You use the graduated filter. You make sure you've got space around, so you can click underneath it, and you put your graduated filter underneath by clicking just below the photo and dragging it down, and it will sharpen up your entire image. You can put a vignette on it, you can get rid of the you know, easy spots here. 
could even remove some of these wires if you wanted. Yeah, it could pretty up these buildings. Um, even put even more clarity into you know this this uh, stone uh, wall here. So there's a lot you can do, but uh, it's not doesn't take long just to quickly create such a striking difference between what you shot and what you can end up with. So that's a simple tutorial and uh, uh, very much a sharpening detail clarity improvement in a photo. So I hope you've enjoyed that and um, I'll catch you later.